The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to uh, August. Uh, August. It's October. It's the October 25th. Fantastic Friday edition, no less, of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Just think about that one, folks. Do not be a prisoner of your past. No reason to. Hey, especially if you trade these markets, because there's always new information. And we're going to go take a look at that new information today. I'm absolutely grateful for that, you're, that you're present here. But more importantly than that, this entire hour is dedicated to you. It's all about you. How do you like that? You're numero uno out here. I simply want to be able to take a look at whatever instrument it is, whatever time frame it is that uh, you'd like me to review. We've got several ways for you to do that. You can give us a call. You've got call head seating. You call live. You get right pushed right up to the front, 877-927-6648. If you can't call, we understand that, too. So, therefore, we've created the uh, opportunity for you to let those fingers do the walking. You just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Inside our Tiger's Den, like Peter, uh, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. Again, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow trading up 176 points, about seven tenths of a percent to the upside. All of the indices in the green. Spot volatility index is not. It is in the red, trading out at 1298, uh, down 73 cents. Gold is basically flat. It's up a buck. Silver is up 16 pennies. That's nearly one percent to the upside. Lights we crude 19 cents, leading the charge dollar wise. It's a charter communication, CHTR, up a little over 7%, 31 bucks. Tesla's up 21. Annika, Annika Therapeutics up 19. That's 36%. Mohawk Industries up about 12% or $15 out there. Amazon down $31. Less than 2%. Illumina down 25. Granite Construction down uh, 11 and change. Anheuser Busch, this bud is for you. Anheuser Busch trading down, uh, what is it? Down 11%, down 970. So Peter wants to take a look at the uh, overall markets, I believe it was. Uh, overall markets, the ES Mini and the uh, gold contract. So let's go ahead and begin there. Uh, for the ES Mini, let's start here, take a look at the ES Mini. Let's look at the daily time frame out here, Peter. So what we know is that price right now, now, sitting really right at its resistance line, a resistance line, established from the highs back in the uh, July time frame. Let me get my cursor out here. The high from July 26th. Then you just simply use the touch point, September 13th. That's a little dashed blue line out here. So price has moved up into that area. There's no longer a TD setup nine count top pattern. Uh, that evaporated today when a price made a higher high. Remember, for that pattern to be valid, Stevie's way of thinking, the high has to occur on bars eight, nine, or the bar five following nine, while well, this happens to be the second bar following nine, a higher high out there. Um, if price closes above the high of October 22nd, this is the ES Mini out here, Peter, that high is 30.14.25. If price closes above that, the A to B equals CD pattern, where the dark cloud cover confirmed the uh, top, the sell, the D point, that will also evaporate. And that uh, brings into account the next level to the upside in the A to B equals CD measurement tool, which would take into the 30.50 area. So that's what the ES Mini is communicating to you and I. Really important to watch the high of October 22nd out there because if price closes below that, well, the sell the D point uh, pattern is still in place. Um, that's the ES. What else do we want to know about the ES mini out here? Let's say that that was the high. 
let's just say, okay, uh, or the, the high of today was the high and the markets were getting ready to turn down, how will we know if, in fact, that's going to come to fruition? Well, one of the ways that I like to look at it is understand where the breakout and breakdown areas are. In this case here, the breakout levels, those are going to be your red horizontal lines, Peter. So this is a way for you and I to take a look at some uh, intraday time period, time frames. That's a mouthful. 30-minute, uh, the 60-minute, and the 120-minute chart out there. And so in order for there to be, in order for Stevie to be able to see there could be a change in trend, we need to see prices close below these levels. So the first level up on our screen is 3,003. You're trading at uh, about 19 points higher than that right now, 30.22 and a uh, tick out here. So that's where you would need to see price move down. If you look at the 60-minute time frame chart, it's the 2992. It's not as clear. The real clear, the real clear level of support shows up in uh, yesterday's move lower. The 120 minute time frame breakout here was 2983.75. There's actually two 2983.75 breakout levels. To me, Peter, that is the key area. 2983.75. Granted, it's quite a ways down from where we're trading right now, but that is the key level of support that the ES mini would have to uh, close below to suggest that there is a change in trend out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the ES Mini General Markets. Uh, if we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, this is a new divergence that has popped up and uh, could become a problem. And that is at that advanced decline oscillator. Peter, if you take a look at panel number two out there, you'll see it's trading out at 78.92. Uh, it is lower than the high from a couple of days ago. Well, was it a couple of days ago? Yeah, it was October 23rd out there. And so you now have a potential of a declining tops advanced decline oscillator with a rising closing high inside the New York Stock Exchange out there. So. You know, that means we would have to take a look at the New York Stock Exchange to identify some kind of pattern. Okay, so if you said that, Steve, well, then why don't you go do it? Okay, don't you love how I just sit here and talk about talk to myself. It's almost like this nonstop out here. But if we do take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, in order for it to identify a topping pattern, the kinds that we like to use out here, well, it's not going to be the TD setup nine count coming off of the low in October. Uh, today puts you into wave number six. Of course, you and I like to see wave number seven. Doesn't always get to wave number seven. The last high inside the New York Stock Exchange took place on September 19th. That happened to be wave number six, letter F. So in essence, we're at the same kind of point in time. If the New York Stock Exchange is going to indicate to us that there's a top out here, it, it'd sure like to see some type of bearish reversal candle. We don't have that clearly today. You certainly are going to need to see it close below Stevie's green line. That's 13040. So how would I call this at this stage? Things are bullish. Um, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator reading gives us just a slight bit of pause to watch how that plays out. Uh, but right now, we don't have any kind of um, topping pattern that you and I can uh, play off of. So New York Stock Exchange could continue to move higher. In fact, that advanced client oscillator reading could get up to the plus 150. We'll just have to take it one day at a time. If we take a look at the spot volatility index out here, the spot volatility index is trading below 1354. What's the relevance of that? 1354 was the closing low on October 15th. And up until this morning, what we had was we had a divergence. We had a divergence with a rising bottoms pattern inside the spot pick along with rising highs inside the S&P 500. Now, it's going to be an end-of-day reading that's going to matter. But if the spot volatility had closed below 1354, that divergent pattern no longer exists. In other words, another topping signal will have failed. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back, and we'll take a look at Goldilocks for Peter. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's go take a look at uh, gold here. No surprise that it found resistance at the top of its daily profile. That was at, uh, well, it, it varies. It's between 1509 and 1513, depending on which version of the uh, gold contract that I use out there today. Right now at 118, it looks like a shooting star candle. We really don't know what it's going to be until day's end, but you're going to want to watch the top of the box. I've got 1513.40 as a level to be watching. If we take a look at gold, You'll just see the continued descending channel, trend line in essence, uh, channel. I'm not using the actual closing bodies uh, on this stage here for what we're taking a look at, but uh, really just a failure. Just in addition for Stevie, the counter trend uh, move inside of Goldilocks is over. Now, of course, the proof of that would come from looking at, just like we were looking at for the ES Mini, we take a look at support levels inside of gold for their shorter term timeframes out here. So here's the 30, here's the 60, and here's the 120 minute timeframes. And, and all I'm really showing are the breakout levels of support. Um, and you would expect that as price pulls back to a breakout level, it should hold. On a 30 minute basis, the number is 1504.20 or 1503. 1503.40. So I don't know what the close looks like in 11 minutes, but if it's below 1504.20 and you get a second close, meaning at uh, 2 o'clock, as we come into 2 o'clock, it's still below there, which suggests we're moving lower. The same thing is going on in the 60 minute time frame. So lower is 1492, 1491-ish type area, 1493. If you look at the two hour time frame chart for gold, the green line is resistance. The green line, you can see that the move today inside of gold found resistance at that 15. 
116 60 level out there so really no surprise to you or I that gold found resistance and now we'll watch it uh, pull back but you've got uh, well we really won't know until 130 so 10 minutes from now but you've got the number to take a look at to help you identify if gold is likely to continue moving lower and move back to lower support areas or breakout areas inside the gold contract out there so uh, caveat emp tour is what Stevie is suggesting to you out there with regard to gold let's go take a look at um, let's go take a look at uh, some other requests that have come in here Peter hope that answered all of your questions out there yeah uh, Andrew K writes and he says hey Stevie hey 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 hey, hey I, I, I gotta go with Andy out there Stevie and Andy this is a Stevie and Andy a segment of the show can you take a look at PayPal PYPL for potential bottom a potential bottom let's go take a look at PayPal PayPal's trade out at 10689 it is above the daily profile it's in Inside the weekly profile, it's bullish in structure. A close above 106.06, your 106.89 suggests to move to 109.92. Uh, price found support this month at the bottom of its monthly profile. So these are horizontal support levels. These are different. These support levels are different than the uh, breakout and breakdown areas that we uh, th those have evolved from the TD setup nine count patterns out here. So price is held on a monthly basis in PayPal. So everything here looks relatively bullish. We're asking Andy if there is, if I can call you Andy, uh, if there was a bottom out here. And the bottom took place a couple of uh, days ago. Price is moving lower, doing less relative energy out there, forms that hammer candle. You then get a gap to the upside, so that was your bullish that was your first bullish candle. Second bullish candle came yesterday with that gap to the upside out here. And now today with prices, so you've got a valid bottom out there. We saw the profile, so we know where resistance is and where it resides. We know where support is at or a version of support out here. And this suggests that if price can clear 107.80, it's a continued move to the upside. Continued move to the upside here using our breakout and breakdown levels is 117.55. So you're looking at 117.55 would take it to an essence the monthly set of profiles out here so you'd be watching for a close above the 109.92 area that's the weekly profile but if you're asking did PayPal form a bottom the answer is yes it did it a couple of days ago out here um, you know do you want to chase it right now or do you wait for a pullback I'd suggest maybe hey just wait for a pullback out there if that's what you're looking at the other level you're you're watching is 108.60 that's the weekly oscillator unchanged line so a couple bucks higher from where we're trading right now a close above that would be very nice uh, with regard to the breakout level inside of Amazon this week uh, price got down to that area that becomes a buy point 94.51 becomes a sell point if there's a close below that uh, because that is breakout support so PayPal and its move lower uh, over the last several days was doing nothing more than testing support happened to be the breakout level on the weekly basis and happened to be the bottom of the monthly profile so Andrew Thanks for having fun, and I hope that helps you out with regard to what PayPal is or isn't uh, doing out there. Uh, Phil writes in, he says, hey, Steve, spot, S-P-O-T, uh, uh, or maybe he's just calling me a dog out there, and that wouldn't be the first person. But if we take a look at spot, that is Spotify. Is a Spot is a TD9 count on the weekly, I believe, uh, but maybe extended on a daily. Would there be a logical buy point for retracement from your TAS profile? So if we take a look at our TAS profiles. Earnings are on Monday. Uh, price is above the daily profile. So that says it's in bullish mode, 118.31. If we're going to rely upon that, um, that would say to you and I that uh, they're going to come out with earnings. They're going to continue to move higher. Brand new weekly profile formed uh, last week. That has held the support, 114.66. The top of the box is at 139.21. There is no center. There really is a center. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a caramely, chewy kind of center out there. We are getting into Halloween out here, right? Next week, trick or treat. Only treats if you come to Stevie's house, and they're good treats. Uh, but if we take a look at, let's get back to it, the center of that profile for the weekly time frame, Phil, and you were referring to the weekly time frame, is also sitting at the bottom. So that is strong support, 114.66. Nothing that we can take a look at on a monthly standpoint from a profile perspective for you. Uh, the weekly, you say a TD setup nine count. Let's go take a look at it. And yeah, it did deform bar number nine, but the low of the nine count session came off of bar number seven. 
doesn't really work for me, uh, not at least until I get my software all set up and I can run all kinds of tests out there. But yes, you're absolutely right. There is a valid nine count pattern that formed last week. But is that the nine count bottom out there from a weekly perspective? Well, I don't know. See, I prefer it form similar to it did back here in December. There is there from Stevie's perspective, that is the proper TD setup nine count pattern. In this case here, bar number eight, forming the uh, bottom and then price running right up just past resistance, 147.27 out there. So Spotify on a weekly basis, you're going to watch 124.33 on a continued move higher. That would be its next resistance level, Stevie's red line. Now, on the daily basis, and you're asking, hey, is there a logical buy point? Well, on the daily basis, what we see with regard to Spotify, we can see the roads momentum indicator top, price movement higher, doing less relative energy out there bearish engulfing candle or bearish a bearish reversal signal the gap to the downside august 13th confirming that pattern actually was also confirmed on august 6th with a gap to the downside now off of the uh, bottom out here today is going to be the day following day nine of a td setup nine count top so we definitely wouldn't take a long position today in this and your retracement that you were asking about if it could retrace all the way back to where it broke out, 113.72 or slightly above that, 114.26 is Stevie's red line right now. Um, yeah, wait for a couple days. See if this pulls back. If it doesn't and it continues to move higher, it tells you how strong the momentum to the upside is for Spotify on the daily basis. And Alex, your price target there would become 133.57. Thanks for alerting us to the TD9 counts for Spotify. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 179. Um, we've got a request to go take a look at uh, ticker symbol JD out here. That is JD Communications, Inc. Uh, currently trading out at 3111. It's trading with inside its profile. The question is, is this a long candidate out there? So we know that it's trading in between support and resistance on a daily basis. Resistance 3145. 3181 is resistance from a weekly standpoint. And on a monthly basis, looks pretty good. Uh, but the month is not over. Price is trading above the top of that profile, 29.62. So is there a long candidate out here, Satish, to take the uh, long trade now? The answer would be no. Uh, the reason I would say that is because you're too close to resistance. Risk-reward doesn't make sense. That's in taking a look at profiles. If you take a look at JD.com out here, um, we can also see that price is uh, close to the resistance of a breakdown level. That's 31.45, which is a pretty good has been pretty good at uh, containing price. So that 3145, that breakdown is the same as the top of the daily box at 3145. Uh, you did get a nice bullish reading signal on this on October 18th, as well as today on the pullback with price coming back and testing Stevie's green line. That green red line is muy importante. It really helps you and I understand if it's just a normal retracement that's going on inside the markets or something more than just that. Because when markets pull back, Back, we look for these support areas. And yes, I use a couple of multiple support areas. That's just the way that it is out here. But Stevie's green and red line is extraordinarily important uh, for us. And it's really extraordinarily important. It took me a lot of years and a lot of dollars out there because, look, I used to be the guy that sold every D point, every one to one D point of an A to B equals CD. You start losing money in the account and you start saying, well, what's wrong with that pattern? Because I believe the pattern. But what is it that's overlooked out there? And then you'd get into a position and you'd get jostled out, right? And then you'd say, shoot, why did I go ahead and why was I scared? Why, why did it take me out? of? Why did I let it take me out of a good position out there? That's what these tools are really all about. They, all these tools that, that uh, I share with you, that I have developed, they're all to improve my trading. They're all to be able to improve the message of the uh, markets out there. So in the case of JDCom, uh, this morning, you know, all it did was pull back to a key level of support that held. But it hasn't cleared resistance. We can clearly see that Satish overhead at 3145. Um, and if it if it closes above that 3145 level, well, pretty good chance that it's going to continue moving higher. Make it 3181 because that's the top of the weekly profile, and you want to see it close on a weekly basis above that. And so back to the back to the uh, just as an example, back to the the um, back to the ES mini uh, out here, and uh, and actually, but back to back to uh, Alex. I'll come back to the ES mini, but Alex to make sure that I answered Alex's question with regard to Spotify coming out with earnings, he said on Monday. I don't know if I shared that part of the uh, email message or not. Um, so you've got a valid topping pattern out there. Maybe price is going to respond by pulling back because of that topping pattern. Maybe the market knows something and then pull back into those support areas. But take, for example, the old sell the D point. So what was it that Stevie did to improve the sell the D point? Well, in just looking at charts, I realized that price would continue moving higher until you saw some type of bullish reversal signal out there. Then vice versa, price would continue moving lower until you saw the Calvary, some type of bullish reversal candle or signal. Now, did it work like that 100 percent of the time? No. But a significant, I can tell you that my trading skills, my pocketbook went up substantially when I started understanding that basic principle out there. And there, if we take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern inside the ES mini, what we will see here is that it actually completed on October 22nd. If you use Stevie's principle that you must see some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm a pattern out there, I really suggest you use it for all the type of pattern tools that you use out here. And price got to the 1 to 1.272 level. You see, if I had just sold the S&P 500, uh, the ES mini, when price hit the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD, I would have been short on October 11th at about the 29.86 area. And price is at 30.21. Number one, I'd have a lot of upset clients 
who uh, were taking that message out there because they put their faith and trust in me. And, and so, and, and I want you to have your faith and trust in me and the tools that we use out here. But even then on that day, we said, okay, you've got the cell of the D point. You've got bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. We know bar number eight can be the high out there, but price must, must close below support to give you and I some type of change in trend signal. Otherwise, all price is doing is pulling back to test support. And that's really what took place a couple of days ago on October 23rd. Price pulled back in the morning, was testing Stevie's green line out there. And look, bouncing off of a green line, a test and rejection, it's bullish. So now price has moved to move higher out there. Now, look, I am not going to be the guy that is selling the top tick out here. I've done it a couple of times. I consider it to be just simply a blind squirrel and luck out there. Uh, but it's really about being able to get the larger mover, the larger change in trend. And I can assure you one thing, if something is going to change its trend, in this case here, something moving higher, it needs to bust through support. And that's why it's so important for us to understand support. And one of those support levels is Stevie's green line, Stevie's red line, the oscillator and change line. You can map this out. It's a, it's a mathematical exercise out there. It is not a moving average. You cannot replicate it. You cannot really get that close to that number. And it's really important to take a look at. It works at for all time frames, all instruments out there. Then you've got your TAS profiles out here, which we look at. Then finally, for support or resistance, what we have are our breakout and breakdown areas. And if you use those, it'll become much clearer for you what the markets are doing. Granted, you and I cannot control what the market is going to do next. What we can control is what we do next when the market generates new information for us. And that's really what this game is all about. It makes each day exciting to be able to come here at one o'clock sit down with you, take a look at instruments because we have new information. Tucker asks about the Russell 2000. Yesterday we focused a little bit on the Russell 2000, the fact that it's trying to form new daily profile out here. Well, if we take a look at it, I don't recall yesterday's 1538 right now looks like the bottom of the new profile, but more important, it's 1560. 156060, that looks like it's the top of the profile. Prices above that, it's above the weekly profile at 1550. If you're asking me, Tucker, where's Russell 2000 headed to? It's headed to 1575 at a minimum. That's the top of its daily area out there. But if we were going to look at the, can I do this? Did I do this? Did I do this? Did I do this? Oh, yeah, I did do this. Well, did I do it? Where did I do it? Okay, so let's just do this. Here's Russell 2000. Here's your short-term time frames, Tuck. And if we take a look at short-term time frames, you're going to see the red lines are your levels of support. Those are areas where the Russell 2000 must close below in order to suggest any kind of change in trend. The green lines are resistance. 1560.10 was resistance on 30-minute basis for the Russell 2000. It's busted through that. That is bullish, most certainly not bearish. So there, in essence, is your Russell 2000. Uh, however, if you wanted to take a look at the cash index. Let's do that just simply to make sure that we are thorough. And when I say thorough, I mean thorough. Let's go take a look at the Russell 2000. What is it that we know? Right now it is in wave number five of a potential seven count move to the upside. It's made a one to two. A to B equals CD. It's trading above yesterday's bearish engulfing candle that would have confirmed the A to B equals CD. No follow through. This would suggest that the Russell 2000, the cash indice, Tucker, headed towards its breakdown level. 1581.30 is the number. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in a tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, so we, were, we began the show taking a look at the ES Mini and gold. We were taking a look at the short-term time frame for gold. If you're asking the question, so this is the cool thing is, is we get to do this live, right? You get to take a look at these tools live. You get to help answer the question, do these tools really work and assist you with regard to understanding where something is moving to or towards or back to? And if you look at the 30-minute time frame chart for gold, right, we said, hey, one, the 130 uh, bar close will be important, price pulled back to support, tested support, rejected support. 1504.21 of our dinners took a, a short term, or I don't know what the period of time is, but a long trade inside of gold. And he, I don't know if he did or not, but was, or you could be using these levels out here. This is a 30 minute TD9 count breakout level. When something pulls back, it's natural to pull back to where it breaks out. 1504.20 on the 30 minute, 1505 on the 60 minute. The 60 minute chart doesn't close, obviously, for another 17 minutes or so out there but this is how this stuff works it's not magic it's not a uh, it's not hocus pocus dominocus it's all just simply right there in front of you waiting for you to go ahead and take it. And if you really want to understand those tools out there, just subscribe to Mastering Probability. Do it for 30, just 30 days. Do it for 29 days out there. Get access to those workshops and uh, put these to work in your arsenal. We're all on the same team. We are all on the same team, or we should be all on the same team, having the cannons all pointed in the right direction. And it's best to have those cannons pointed outside the boat. You know what I mean? You ever try to run a business where you've got cannons pointing in all directions? Exactly. It doesn't really work out that well. Uh, same kind of thing in our country, if you know what I mean. Okay, had a request if we could go take a look at the Apple. So let's go take a look at Apple. That thing has been on a roll. Let's see if we can figure out where that roll is headed to. AAPL is a ticker symbol. See if we can find any resistance out here. And, well, we're not going to find any resistance with regard to market profiles. You're above the daily, above the weekly, and above the the monthly levels for Apple. So now that says, uh, okay, what are we going to find out here? Let's go look at the daily time frame for Apple. Today's going to
going to be day number six of a potential TD setup in nine count pattern. So no top uh, there in sight. Uh, price above Stevie's green line of 241.80. So this chart here would suggest that Apple wants to continue to motor on higher. Uh, if we take a look at Apple on a weekly basis, we're going to see that this week happens to be week number nine of a TD setup nine count pattern. So that's very interesting out here. Um, if we take a look at A to B equals CD patterns here for Apple, your A point down at the December lows, your P point looks like in the May highs, your C point down here in June, you're at the one to one A to B equals CD. If you're asking me where is Apple's next price target, assuming that, uh, well, if the next price target in the A to B equals CD world is 263.52 out there, um, TD setup nine count patterns can top on the bar following bar nine. So we'll have to watch Apple next week and the week after to see if it really does generate that topping signal. Uh, if we look at the monthly time frame chart for Apple, what do we have out here? We see that prices beginning to move higher to a less relative energy. This is month number eight of a TD setup at nine count. So this says that we need to keep our eye on Apple for signals out here because you've got a potential topping signal on the monthly potential topping signal on the weekly. The daily says you are days away from that. Uh you would be looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of next week. So that's what's going on inside of Apple. A question if we could also take a look at Amazon. What was Amazon doing out here? So let's go take a look at Amazon. Uh, right now, it is trading out at 1748 and some change out here. So on the move lower at today's open, it was testing what looks like a hammer candle out here from October the 3rd. Let's pull over our other chart. So first, first, Apple had a if it's just a counter trend rally then the counter trend rally is over why would Stevo say that? Well, because the counter trend rally would be over, much like in the case of gold, because it found resistance at the top of its daily profile out here. That's 17.56. Yeah, it traded above it earlier, but watch the close. The close below 17.56.30 says it was just a counter trend rally. Now, that's based upon market profiles in the weekly. You're trading below the bottom of its box, so that says, okay, a seller should have control, and you're with inside the weekly profile. Now, back to the daily. What's the message on the daily? out here. The message on the daily. So there's the hammer candle. We can see the hammer candle from back on October 3rd. Price moving back into that. You can also see price is uh, trading right at Stevie's red line. Hmm. 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 Something to think about. That, too, is resistance. So you've got two PS daily resistance areas inside of Amazon for its daily time frame. On the weekly time frame, well, the counter trend rally could take up to 1804. What Amazon is really doing is trading in between support and resistance. Support is in the 1586 to 1646 level in resistance, 203319. Those established by their TD setup support breakout and resistance breakdown areas. And on a monthly basis here for Amazon. Amazon's got a, a Rhodes momentum indicator signal out there that over time could take price to 950.37. So with regard to Amazon, so far this morning, a nice move, but don't let it fool you until it closes above 17.56. Because otherwise, the message is counter trend rally above 1756, and price should go hit 1804. That is what's going on with Amazon. All right, I don't think I have any other questions. So if you want to queue something up in the den, that would be uh, pretty uh, cool. Um, uh, otherwise, I'm just kind of floating out here, floating on a Friday. So uh, let's go uh, do some uh, floating. What do we want to take a look at out here? FCX. Thank you very much. Always good. Good to have wing, uh, wing men and wing men, wing women out there, just wing people. So if we take a look at FCX, it's always good to fly with you. If we take a look at FCX, Freeport, McMoran, of course, you know we won't do it right now. Uh, but if we were going to take a look at FCX, we in a in a real, uh, a real significant way, we'd certainly want to take a look at what's going on with the Australian dollar because these two typically move in lockstep. So if you're going long FCX, what you're also saying is you're going 
long the Australian dollar. But let's say we didn't know that. What is it that we do know? Brand new profile that is formed today. Uh, price is trading above the top of that, which is 10.06. You're at 1034. So SM, that looks pretty good. But price is running right into resistance on the weekly time frame. The weekly top of the box is 10.32. We're trading at 10.34. Two pennies doesn't exactly get my skirt in a tizzy. And if you take a look at the monthly time frame, resistance is 10.30. 10.45. That's the bottom of its uh, monthly profile. So here's what we know right now. Weekly looks pretty good, but month weekly, uh, month daily looks pretty good. But let's go see if there's any kind of topping signals out there. Weekly says be careful. Monthly says be careful too because price has made its way to resistance. Now on the daily chart, what well, we're going to open up and we're going to find out where breakdown resistance is. And breakdown resistance is 1073. So SM, it looks to me like what Freeport McMoran is doing is gunning for that area. 1073 where it broke down. If it can close above that on a daily basis, 1167 would be the run. Sean, thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, so if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, oh, out here um you know, weekly, we got to go with the weekly profiles, price at resistance. I didn't see a bottoming signal or pattern out there. And then the monthly. So, Sean, the other thing that I would do is I would suggest if you're trading FCX, go pay attention to the Australian dollar. That's going to influence your decision making about what Freeport McMoran is going to do. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. No 
other requests, I think, that uh, I've got out here. So let's just kind of oh, I take that back. Uh, we've got one here. Let's see what this request is. If time permits, could I review XBI? So you got it in in the uh, nick of time. That is for uh, Tony. So let's go take a look at XBI. I don't recall what this is off the top of my head. We don't have to worry about that. It's going to tell us here in a moment. So that is the biotech sector for the S&P 500. Trading above the uh, daily profile that formed yesterday. That was 80.27. So that's bullish. The weekly suggests a move to 85.73. Uh, 82.78 is a little bit of resistance on the monthly time frame. Now, that's what the XBI chart shows. This looks mighty powerful, mighty powerful because, uh, well, I take that back. You know, it's got a valid TD setup nine count out here. So um, it's got a topping pattern in play. And, and if it can take out the high from a few days ago, that's October 23rd, then 8334 would be the number that it would be headed to. If I look at the weekly time frame chart here for the S&P Biotech ETF, uh, price above Stevie's red line at 79.62, 8770 would become the price target. That's where price broke down on the weekly time frame inside of it. And on the monthly time frame, uh, price could bounce up to the 87.36 area. So those are your different time frames for the S&P biotech sector ETF out there, XBI, and where price is likely headed to. So in summary, folks, uh, what we've got out here, it's really going to de be dependent upon the uh, close, but uh, topping signals that have been prevalent everywhere are falling by the wayside, but it will be dependent upon today's close to make that determination. And if we close around here, you can anticipate and expect we had a tad higher. Inside the ES Mini, expect price to get up to 3032. Inside the NQ, 8071. Inside the Dow Equity Futures contract, 27042. And the RTY, the Russell 2000, 1575. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you on Magical, Magnificent Monday, and go Nats.